Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project invoice management system and I have developed this project in Java, Spring Boot and Angular and database I'm using my MySQL. So on the Spring Boot site I'm using STS tool for uh, developing the Spring Boot apps right means its ID uh, for JDK I'm using JDK 1.8 for server I'm using Tomcat server 9 and for uh, port i'm using port 8080 for running the application api server on the front end part we have used angular including with html css and javascript and uh, we are using visual studio code for writing the codes and for port we are using port 4200 for running the application right so these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project invoice management system right so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented what are the features available inside this project right so the project title is invoice management system and it's a mini project where admin can log in and admin can perform certain operations there is no customer operations there is no customer login inside this project because it's a mini project right so once you open this project on a browser on port 4200 means localhost port 4200 then you will get this login page so the user id is admit at the rate gmail.com and password is test once you log inside the system you will get this admin page right so this is a second layout there are two layouts integration first one is a login layout second one is a admin layout once you log in then you will get this dashboard where you can uh, perform certain operations right sales and invoice right once you click on the start sale right so here you need to enter the customer name for suppose i am entering the customer name partial and customer mobile number once you click on the start sell this is a sales dashboard here you need to add the products so this one quantity 100 add item so you can see the items are getting added into the cart item right so you are creating the invoices right so 56 add right so you can add any any number of items from here for creating the invoices right so you can suppose if you want to delete any item just click on the delete that item will be deleted from the cart right macaroni 100 pieces 1000 pieces so you can see the total amount is calculating automatically right so once you complete with the your invoice save sales details once you click on the save sales details you can see this is the order id this all things are available once you click on the print receipt this page will be printed from the connected printer and you can send the invoice right so this is the process for creating the invoice this is the order report means invoice report so here you can see all of the orders right this is the last order and this is the items right so what you have created earlier will be displayed here this is a product report you can add any number of products from here right so this is the product all of the products which is available into the database this is the add product from here you can add any number of product inside the database this is a company report all of the product belongs to a company right so from here you can add the product a company right so you can see this is a company drop down and here from here you can select the company right and this drop down is dynamic and the value of this the drop down is coming from the database through the company api this is the add company from here you can add any number of company this is a category report from here you can add the category uh, see the category list right and this category will come here in the add product section on the type product type you can see the category of the product right this is a category report where you will be able to see all of the category report this is the add category from where you can add any number of categories and the logout once you click on the logout then the session will be expired you will not be able to access the internal pages and you will be redacted to the admin page let me show you you can see you have redacted on the admin page and the layout of this page is totally different right if you log in then you can see the layout of this page is different because admin layout is different and login layout is different so we have created two different layout and according to the parent child concept the pages are getting rendered right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project the project title is invoice management system as i told you earlier this is a java spring boot angular and mysql based mini project where admin can perform operations that is only admin login 
so if you need any enhancement if you need any extra feature in this period just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this period more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video